Hello, my name is Hannah McNeilis, Caffrey Beef and Sheep Development Advisor based in the Coleraine office. Today I have a short video for you on weaning suckler calves. As we approach the back end of the year, the weaning of suckler calves will soon become top priority. The time of the year that you calf the majority of your cows will generally determine how and when you wean calves. Some farmers will wean calves while cows and calves are still at grass prior to winter housing, while others will wait until cattle are on the slats to remove the calves. Regardless of your system, the most important element of weaning of calves is to keep stress on both the calf and the cow to a minimum. In order to reduce stress on both cow and calf, weaning should always be gradual. Avoid the abrupt removal of calves from cows. There are a number of management practices which can be carried out on farm to help break the bond between cow and calf. The most popular of these practices is creep feeding. Creep feeding at grass should occur at least four weeks prior to housing and continue for at least two weeks after. Creep feeding can also occur on slats where cattle are housed, where calves have access through a creep gate. If you are in a rotational or paddock grazing type system, you may also have the facility to allow calves to forward graze away from their mother. All of these practices allow calves to become more independent, less reliant on cow's milk and reduce the stress when the mother is removed. There are also a number of products on the market which can help the farmer in the weaning process. Pictured is one such product called the Quiet Wean. These are simple plastic paddles that can be inserted into the calf's nose and hinder them being able to suck. These are a simple yet effective way to break the bond while the calf is still grazing alongside the mother. Good calf health is essential to success at weaning. Prior to weaning and to housing, monitor your stomach and lungworm burdens in calves and treat appropriately. Speak with your local vet around the use of faecal egg counting to monitor the worm burdens on your farm. Weanling pneumonia poses the greatest risk to the performance of calves at weaning. Calves who are compromised by worm burdens or poor health are generally more susceptible to pneumonia. Calves with pneumonia will generally show clinical signs of dullness and loss of appetite. However, many batches of calves do have subclinical pneumonia without showing any signs. The monitoring of temperatures may be very important in the intervention of pneumonia if it arises. If pneumonia is an issue on your farm, speak with your local vet around implementing a vaccination program. While the majority of the emphasis is placed on calf health at weaning, don't forget about cows at this time of the year. The removal of the calf and the stress associated can sometimes bring on grass tetany or staggers, as can poor weather. Supplementation with magnesium may be required to avoid having issues with tetany. With the removal of calves, mastitis is also a risk, particularly in high yielding cows. This should be monitored at grass to allow cows to go into the house in the best of health. Prior to winter housing, consider the conditions within your sheds. Good ventilation is absolutely key to good calf health, particularly against weanling pneumonia. Good hygiene within sheds will reduce the instance of infection. Simple factors such as adequate feed space and adequate lying space will have a positive effect on calf performance through the winter. A fresh and sufficient water supply will also drive and tick and allow calves to push on through the winter. The feeding of high quality silage to calves and young stock through the winter will help to reduce the cost of concentrate on the farm. If you are a member of a calfrey business development group, your advisor can analyse your silage quality on farm to determine the ME, protein and dry matter. The regular weighing of calves through the winter is also essential to ensure that they are meeting the weight targets for breeding and for beef. 
To summarize, here are some take-home messages in relation to weaning of suckler calves. Remember that the most important message is to keep stress at weaning to a minimum. Keep an eye on factors such as cow health and calf health prior to weaning and to housing. Monitor worm burdens and ensure that cows are in good health coming into the house for winter. Take a look at your sheds and determine what ventilation and overall hygiene, feed space and conditions are like. Remember that the best quality silage made on the farm should be fed to young stock over the winter.